It is time for another episode. We have a guest host today. It is Rachel Teichman. Teichman. She is actually the co-host of our other show, uh, which is Wikilisten. Uh, so you kind of know how this goes. Uh, but you, so the thing about you, Rachel, is I find that you do not seem to. You have a gap in your information, uh, just area, and so like I'm because you're much younger than I am. And so a lot of things that I know, you don't seem to know. So I'm going to ask you a question that I think most people should know okay. and see whether or not you know it. All okay? right. All right. Let's do this. Okay. Uh, here's, here's your question. Rachel. Mm -hmm. What are the ghost's name, ghost's name in Pac-Man? Oh my God. Um, I've known this. Don't they all end in Y? No, that's incorrect, Rachel. <laughs> Three of them do end in Y. One of them doesn't. Inky, Blinky, yes, Pinky, yes. and Clyde. Yes. Uh, uh, sorry, Rachel. That's oh. okay. It's fine. Uh, let's get on with the show, shall we? Oh, man. Now I'm sad. Welcome to Six Unseemly Questions. I'm your host, Victor Varnado. This is my sidekick, Rachel oh, Teichman. We've got a great guest on the show today. It's Gianmarco Sorsesi. Hello. Welcome to the show. How are you? I'm great, and I'm so happy you're here. Thank you for being here. I'd like you. To, I'd like to introduce you to our studio studio audience. We have Eagle Wit and Brett Marie Vervoort. Did Woo. I say it right? Yeah, you did. <laughs> All right, uh, everybody, let's get started with the show. I'm gonna, uh, so Gianmarco, I'm gonna explain how the show works and then we're gonna get started. I'm gonna ask you six unseemly questions. At the end of each question, I'll ring a bell if I like your answer like this. However, I do if I do not like your answer, I will not ring a bell and I'll tell you why. Regardless of how many bells you get at the end of the show, I'll decide whether or not your appearance on the show is worth giving you five whole dollars. Are you ready? Yeah, that's the most I'll have ever made from comedy. So I am really hoping this works out. I'm going to give it my best. <laughs> I mean, that was a very funny response, but I don't believe that's true at all. <laughs> well, here we go. Uh, it's time for question number one. Question number one. When did you stop believing in Santa Claus? Uh, in middle school, we used to have assemblies. It like used to be a Christian school. Then it deviated, but we still had assembly like morning with prayer. And we uh -huh. had a teacher who uh, to the lower school, middle school, this is kindergarten to eighth grade, uh, went on stage and said, you know, class, uh, you know, getting older can be tough. At some point you realize there's no Santa Claus. And about 80% <laughs> of the room went, holy shit. It was, a, it was a huge controversy. The teacher had to write like a letter to all the parents being like, I'm so sorry, forgive me, <laughs> forgive me. And it, it, was, it was a scandal. It was a scandal. <laughs> that sounds so like a that's scandal. What I found out. Wait, but you were yeah, in middle school yeah. though? Uh yeah, I was in middle school. I was always suspicious about Santa Claus because uh when my dad got divorced the second time, he told me that my stepmom had just moved to the North Pole to help Santa build toys. And <laughs> I I I would see her at the local grocery store and I was like, something's not right here. <laughs> wow, I seems like adults uh, have uh, told you some uh, some bullshit here and there. <laughs> yeah, I think yeah. I think I stopped believing in God before I stopped believing in Santa Claus. That's kind of been my trajectory. All right, and you know what? I'm going to give you a bell for that question. Here you go, because <laughs> it's a very entertaining answer. <laughs> All right, uh, now uh, it is time for question number two. But before we do that, can you tell people out there what you do? Uh, uh, kind of what I just did, but I charge people more money for it. I just talk on stage. I'm a stand-up comedian. Yeah. And I'm currently touring. I'm, I'm in Oklahoma City right now. At the oh, Looney yeah. Bin. At the Oklahoma oh, City, yeah. City at the Looney Bin. I love comedy club names. They're one of my favorite things. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's the kind of club I should have known before I got here that they were going to charge me half price for food. Instead of oh, a free meal. It's, you know, man. You know what I mean? You, you, are at, you, you are saying the exact kind of things why I hate touring unless I'm being treated like a queen. Like, I don't, I don't like to tour unless <laughs> they 
just t- treat they like blow on my feet like i don't want <laughs> to have any problems that's why i i used to do that and i used to do the road a lot and not anymore i'm just like no way yeah, no yeah, way man now i sit I in a room it. and talking to a microphone <laughs> all right uh it is time for question number two here it, here we are question number two what's your favorite punctuation i i like a semicolon because uh-huh. it makes you seem smart and I don't think anyone really knows when you're supposed to use it. So you can just put it wherever the f*** you want and people go, oh, he must know a grammar secret that I'm not fully aware of. <laughs> Most of the time, I am just I just don't understand if it's two sentences or one sentence. It's a run-on. So I put a semicolon there. No one questions it. No one questions right. the authority. So I'm going to say that I will give you a bell if no one here knows when you should use a semicolon. So I'm going to ask around the room, Eagle. When should you use a semicolon? Oh, it's fine to oh, say you no, don't. Marco, know. you're gonna you're gonna hate this, bro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's it's where you can stop in a sentence, but you don't necessarily have to. That is correct. I also knew, so you're you're doomed anyway to not get a bell. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> I also knew. So oh oh, here we go. Bing, bang, boom. God damn, listen, I've read it every like single one of Eagle's Facebook posts. I did not think Eagle would be the one to beat me on the grammar. Hey, per- <laughs> perfect score in my English SATs. It's a shocker. <laughs> <laughs> All right, no bell on that question as agreed upon earlier. It is now time for question number three. Question number three. What was it like being Ice T's waiter? Uh, oh, this one's gonna hurt. This one's gonna hurt. I uh, uh, exaggerated that <gasps> for the sake of the joke. I no. have played a waiter. I have, you I lied? Waiter. I have played a waiter, and I, I have I have worked with a, a celebrity similar to Ice T. But Law and Order is one of the most viewed shows in America. And here's my defense. Okay. Looney bin, Oklahoma City. <laughs> Looney bin, Oklahoma City. What TV shows do I get to choose from? I can't talk about the thing I did on Oxygen. <laughs> I don't know what Bravo is. So, yeah, I have to make it a little middle America and say Law and Order SVU. So there right. you go. There's the truth. Uh, you know what? I'm going to give you a bell on the question. That's you true. know why? Because you, you laid the truth bare. So... I, I get it. I get it. And yes, I am disappointed, but I do get it. <laughs> I can't believe you would lie to me. I know. I know. I'm sorry you have to deal with her psychosis. <laughs> As it the mental not... health professional in the room, I am not currently experiencing psychosis. <laughs> As a person who knows that people shouldn't diagnose themselves, what the hell are you talking about? Uh... Your mom. <laughs> My mom. Okay, good. Nice one. All right. You're very mature. Okay, it is time for question number four. Question number four. Have you ever put someone else's toes in your mouth? Uh, yes, but only, only like jokingly. Like only like, oh, what if I was into this? Not, not at all. I will always try it. I will, I, I will go for it after a shower. After a shower, I'll, I'll do a little. But I don't want to do it. I would, I, it's gross. What the f*** you? What kind of question is this? Listen, I don't know why people are into this. I remember when I was growing up, you know, all the guys, we were like, oh, you know what I want? I just want to touch a boob. That's all I want to do. And then we touch a boob, and then we're like, okay, I just want a, a p-. And then we wanted to have sex. And once we had sex, I was done. I was content. I was content right there. But then guys kept going further. Then they said, I uh-huh. want to eat a, eat a butt, suck a toe. No, I don't want to do any of those things. I am fine with sex. I'm good with sex for the rest of my life. But you, but you have done those things, right? You said you didn't want to do them, but you did. You, so you did it under duress. Yeah, but it's like, like I've done all those things, but like, like you would try like an ice cream flavor that you know you're not gonna like, you know, just like a. Oh, okay. And that's it. Just so you can say you did it. Just so you can play "Never Have I Ever." You don't look like a f-ing loser. That's what I did it <laughs> just for that. I sucked right. one toe. Did the other well, person like it? Uh, well, they were asleep, but I, uh, uh, <laughs> it's a joke. that's a joke. Yeah, I, I was going to say, John Marco, this yeah. is, that is, that is, boy, that's incriminating on the podcast. You're bugging, bro. 
<laughs> this podcast was created especially so people don't have to deal with controversy on it. Actually, this is one of, that's one of the reasons why it's just so stupid. <laughs> so we don't have to just we can have fun. That's you somehow uh, found part a of the idea. <laughs> I'm gonna say uh, I'm gonna say no belt because of the controversy. Okay. <laughs> Surrounding that last Fair. answer. I hope I hope that's my only punishment is the no belt. All right. Uh, the next this next question is a multiple choice and it is a then you tell me why after you made your choice. Here's the next question: side quest or story quest? Uh, I'm gonna go with story quest. You know why? Because you gotta stop playing. F- video games it's time to grow the f- up finish the main story and be done with the game oh, i don't need no to do some bell oh, let me no let me bell oh. every, every pixel of final fantasy 8 let me uh. let me spend an hour searching the desert so i can fight the special cactus cactus guy which is not even a good thing to have anyway and you never use it finish the game and read a book you f- loser <laughs> All right. And, uh, also, I'd, I'd like to tell everybody to please go check out HighScoreWinsMoney.com, my uh, video game company, uh, where, <laughs> <laughs> where we give away $100 every day for people who get the high score in video games on, on the website. So uh, wow, go plug. check it out. <laughs> and no bell. <laughs> oh, that feels biased. I got to tell you. That, that really does absolutely feel... biased. Yes. Okay, absolutely good, biased. Good, good. All right, it's finally time for question number six. Question number six, could you lead a cult? Uh, I could not lead a cult. Uh, I would want to, I would want to, but yeah. I keep, I feel insecure and I have to ask other people all the time, is this okay? Does that make sense? <laughs> so I think I would go out there and I'd be like, I am the son of God. And then I'd <laughs> go to someone in the front row and be like, does that make sense? Does it seem like I could be the son of God? Am I living up to my potential? Do I look like the son of God? And everyone would immediately revolt. And uh, someone with much more chutzpah than me would would kill me. And everyone would cheer and say, good, we need a secure leader. So you're basically saying you would doubt yourself too much, yeah? Uh, Yeah, way too much. Way too much. I I, I couldn't do it. I, I I couldn't have a harem? A harem? My God, that many kids? resenting me for not spending enough time with them i Wait. would be a terrible cult oh okay leader. you're like you're not only is it a harem but you've also had a family with uh, many of the people in the harem correct at this point yeah yeah, yeah yeah i would try version i would try but then i couldn't get i i feel so much stress all the other women are there in the tent i couldn't get it up and i it would just be so embarrassing and uh you know it's bad enough to embarrass one woman let alone 50 in your harem that's 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 a rough ride you know what? I'm going to give you a bell. I'll tell you why. Because you've convinced me that you cannot lead a cult. <laughs> All right. I believe you. The only correct point. answer to that was come find out. Ooh, sure. <laughs> at the loony I, bin. I, I don't. <laughs> come find out at the loony bin. <laughs> nice. <laughs> come find out. Uh, how do you make everything so gross? Uh, <laughs> I think it's just my face. What? No. No. Be be nice to yourself, please. <laughs> all right. Uh, it, it, that's been great. Jane Marco, uh, you've answered all six questions, so now it's time to decide whether or not you get $5. But before we do that, can you tell people out there where to find you? Yes. I'm everywhere. Well, I'm at the loony bin tonight. There's no way this is coming out in time. You missed it. You missed the show of the f- year at the loony bin in Oklahoma City. Sorry, but I uh, you can find me everywhere at John Marco Serezi. It's spelled out in the show notes. Uh, I'm touring around the country all year, and my podcast is called The Downside with John Marco Serezi. Check it out. <laughs> all right, uh, everybody, check out The Downside. I know that I will as well now it is time to decide whether or not you get five dollars but as always we canvas the room uh before we do that so let's start out with you eagle what do you think should john marco get five dollars for his appearance on the show gotta give it five love john marco all right uh because he loves you apparently he says that you gotta gotta give you five all right brett what do you think should john marco get five dollars for his appearance on the show 
I think he really sold it. When he told me he couldn't run a cult, I believed every word. You know, he sold it. And for that <laughs> reason alone, he deserves $5. Okay. All right. That's two people firmly in your corner for different reasons. <laughs> Rachel, what do you think? Should Gianna Marco get $5 for his appearance on the show? The fact that he still believed in Santa Claus in middle school um, is a little concerning to me. And wow, you just he, want to throw shade at him? And maybe he could use the five dollars. Maybe that could help him out. What? Uh, what? Why did you do it that way? You could have just. Wow. <laughs> All right, uh, and you're the last person to ask, John Marco. What do you think? Should you get five dollars for your appearance on the show? I thought I should have been given five dollars just to be on the show in the first place. <laughs> Oh, so yeah? I'm definitely going to go with yes. Oh, yeah, came out with a little cover... sass, so no $5 for you. <laughs> he's got to cover the other uh, half of his You meal. were a great guest on the show, though. <laughs> Thank you. She's, he's got to cover what, Brett? The other half of his meals there. The other half of his meals. Yeah, I, yeah, yes, please. That's true. I yeah, wish he would have said that instead, because that would have probably gotten him the $5. <laughs> instead, he came out swinging, so no $5. But thank you so much for being on the show. I would just have to wrap it up uh, by asking Rachel, what did you learn from this week's show? Um, I learned that Santa Claus isn't real. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm sorry. All right. Well, everybody check us out at 6 Unseemly on all social media and unseemlyquestions.com. Star Bands Audio, a, podca <clears throat> a podcast network.